I'm working on a 2003 Honda Accord V6. I'm replacing the valve cover gaskets, uh, replacing the spark plug seals. The process will be the same for any V6 Honda or Acura. Just a little bit differences here and there. First, remove your intake tubing or whatever you have for there. This one was already broken, so that's why it's messed up on that clamp right there. I unplug the intake temperature sensor, map sensor, throttle body wire. Uh, there's an evap hose I just pointed out to right there. Uh, those clips for that plug. brake booster hose um, I believe this is the motor mount uh, switch um, in front you have the this hose right here alright remove these 10 millimeter bolts now remove these 12 millimeter bolts these are the two cooling lines for the idle control valve I plug them up with the 12 millimeter bolts after you have that done you can lift off your intake manifold and set it aside alright for the front cover take all your plug coils off um, take off this 10 millimeter for the alternator wire bracket that holds the harness Take it off so it's loose. You gotta, on this part, kind of the tab, you kind of push downward and pull up. There's two of them on the harness. So once you have that, just move the harness out the way. And you are starting both of these 10 millimeter bolts. And I'll be right back. I always take the bolts fully off just because if you don't, from experience, when you take the cover off, they'll just fly everywhere and you'll have a hard time finding them. So I just take them off, make your life easier. And yeah, man, changing these covers, always change the tube seals as well. It's pretty easy to take them off. Just put it right under the, the lip carefully. And just push, 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 and it should pop right off. Alright, with all the new gaskets and seals in, make sure you wipe off surface points, contact points, whatever. So when you put it on, it's not dirt or anything so you can see right. Also, when you put it down, make sure that the spark plug tube seal doesn't get uh, stuck on the lip of the tube. Make sure the seal goes all the way down. Not pinching anything because if it does, it'll leak all. Then you gotta redo the skin. Now put everything back on. Coils, wire harness. Make sure you put that ten back on here. Put all these wires back in. And now move on to the next. To the back. The front cover. The back cover you want to do the same thing. Take all the coils uh, on both the wire harness. You know, take as much as you can off. I unplug these uh, O2 sensor wires so I can have as much slack on the harness as possible. A, this one connects in there. Just it. That way you can move your wire. Pulling so hard, it's breaking something. Okay, now we're gonna take up all the tents again. I'll be right back. All right, now you got the back one off. Same thing. Change the seals, the gasket, clean it up, and put it back in. All right, with the back cover on, and make sure you just put everything back on, like these uh, brake booster hose, the transmission mount switch. Always bring it back and for it. Don't forget that uh, evap line that I took off earlier. Make sure you put it back on. Look at everything. 
everything. And uh, put those 12 millimeters back in there. And, uh, tighten it down. And that's pretty much it. You do everything in reverse.